Hey, I'm Laura, and recently I got the opportunity to go to Texas and visit the set of the hit series The Chosen. Ahead of season three, I spoke with some of the cast and crew of the series to get their thoughts on the new season and what it's like playing such iconic figures. I hope you enjoy. Lara, thank you so much for chatting with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Thanks for coming, Laura. Eden is such a central character, I think, to the story of The Chosen. Her and Simon's relationship has really built and evolved over the series thus far. Yes. Where are they at in season three? In season three, um, we're going to see a different side. I think you're going to see some different, um, some different emotional sides to Eden. Um, she's, uh, you know, she... He, Simon leaves to go um, on a mission. Um, he comes back, things are great, and then he has to go again. So, um, you know, that definitely creates a little bit of tension, some loneliness, and, um, you know, things change for Eden. So Simon comes home to a different Eden. Mm. And I, I think the, the audience is going to really love trying to figure out what is going on. <laughs> There's a, a real reality, I think, to that dynamic, whether it's in friendships, in marriage, especially in, yes. in their case where people change, people grow. Yes. What do you think The Chosen will say about that aspect of who we are as people, that we do change? Yes, The, the Chosen is what I think what the show does such a great job at is really not sugarcoating any, any um, you know, experiences or any emotions. And they write it in such a beautiful way that people can relate to so well because these are real and it's mm. raw and vulnerable and you know there are times where we feel a sense of um just hopelessness or loss or or fear confusion and um i think that it's so so well done and we're so excited for people to see that and what has it meant to you as an actor to be able to take something like The Chosen that's inspired by the Bible, by a very religious text in some ways, mm -hmm. and bring so much humanity to it? Yes, for me personally, being able to bring Eden to life has been an incredible gift because we know so much about the disciples and a lot of the guides, I feel like, you know, have have um, some texts to go off of to kind of create okay, well, who, who would this character be? You know, who, who is this disciple? But for Eden, I had to think about, well, what kind of woman would be married to Simon, yeah. you know? And um, so that was really, really great to be able to bring some of me, some of my truth, and, and getting to find out who Eden is. And, and then a lot of that just came through truly a lot of prayer to, to be able to give, you know, give the story justice and, and play Eden with with so much, um, with so much freedom to be me, mm. and that's what I love too about you know Dallas and the creators that they allow us to 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 do that. Yeah. What do you use as the inspiration for a character like Eden who doesn't have backstory there mm. in scripture so much? Well, I, I thought about you know who Simon Peter is. We know that he essentially was Jesus's rock. You know, he had his back. He defended him in a lot of ways, and so. For me, I was like, well, I, I want to be his rock, you know, mm -hmm. someone for him to come home to and, and just, you know, be comfortable and vulnerable with and, and strong together, um, lifting him up while he's out there, you know. So I had to find some strength in me as well because mm -hmm. I don't think that Eden would just be this, you know, almost like a extremely submissive woman right. uh, is the best yeah. way I can put it. She does have some fire in her and, you know, she can tell him like it is when when she needs and, and get him to understand, you know, where she's coming from. Mm. Was that something kind of personal for you? Because you've only recently got married yourself. Yes. It's sort of early <laughs> days in a way. So did you bring some of your personal experience into those aspects of Eden? Definitely. Um, you know, with, with dating and, and I think trying to... <laughs> Bring in real life experiences um, is the best way for me that I go about with my work um, because nothing beats experience, I feel mm. like. And you can use your imagination, but when you pull from real life, I think um, that's where the magic, where I feel the magic happening and I think where, where the audience can see it too. And so, um, like I said, you know, a lot of Eden is me. Mm. So, yes, she's sweet and, you know, she's, she's a strong woman of faith and uh, she's a daughter and a, and a wife and all these things but you know she has some some strength and fire in her too and that yeah I feel like that comes from like my mom and how we grew up and my mom was a very strong um, independent you know single mom and mm -hmm. so a lot of that 
I pull from from her and that strength. Mm. Yeah, it's great. You've been yeah. able to bring those parts into the character too. And with mm. this season, not only are we seeing so much more of the personal sides of some of these characters we've come to love as well, but there's also some really big moments in the series as well. Yes. The feeding of the 5,000 is one that people are looking forward to. Yeah. What were some of your highlights? So far, the highlights of season three have been truly been able to tell Eden's story. Um, just the emotional um, weight that she is carrying this season. And that has been, I mean, it, it's been such an incredible gift. And I'm excited for people to see it. And I'm looking forward to, for, for people to see that they are not alone in a lot of the stories that you're going to see in season three, not mm. just Eden, that you, they really are not alone and that you know you can look for support in your family and your friends and, and in God. Mm. So, How has it affected your own faith being part of this series? It has, it has really challenged me in a lot of ways too. Um, I get so emotional talking about it because I didn't, I didn't find my love and passion for acting until I found a relationship with Jesus. So I feel like he's truly been guiding me and helping me through all this. And I feel a spiritual connection when I work. Um, so when I feel f like far away from God, I know that it's me that has stepped back yeah. and that's, that it's not, it's not him that's, that's, um, you know, kind of gone away. I know that it's something with me and um, every day just growing in that spiritual maturity. So it's been life changing um, for me as well personally to really grow in my faith and um, just live a life that I can be proud of. Yeah. 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 And it obviously makes you emotional because so yeah. much of who you are is invested in this. Yes. <laughs> is that something that is unique to The Chosen, do you think? Absolutely, yes. I think so many of our disciples, um, you can see the, the, the real people in them, the, the actors, right? You can see so much of them because it's like you, when you look at them, you can't picture anyone else playing them and that's what's special about the show is that we've all been cast in such a way that um, we were the best fit mm. um, and that just I mean that comes from so much trust I think in um, you know with with casting with Dallas and and um, you know the producers and everybody and they have um, an incredible eye I think in seeing all of that and and um, I think God really just orchestrated each one of us. We're, we're all in different walks of life and journey and, and different cultural backgrounds. And mm. um, we all come together to, to tell the story. And it's, it's so important. And I, I, uh, I'm so glad, you yeah. know, I'm so glad to, to do that. Yeah, it's a unique yeah. experience on set and yeah. for us watching as well. So thank you so much for sharing thank who you. you are and also your time with us today. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you, Laura. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, join Brandon Potter, who plays Quintus, for his thoughts on the benefits of humanizing Bible characters. And I think that's one of the remarkable things about this show. I think it's what separates this show from a lot of the other sort of faith forward stuff, mm -hmm. is that we get to see real and complicated, messy humanity and how that interacts with someone like Jesus.